In this lesson we're going to look at drawing mixed numbers. So what is a mixed number? Let's do one like this. One and three quarters. It's a mixed number because it has a whole part and a fraction part. Now let's try to draw this. Now you've got two models, the pizza model and the chocolate bar model. What I'm going to do is use the pizza model. So I'm going to first draw this part, the whole part. So I've got one whole pizza and there's the center. And now I'm going to draw the fraction part. So I'm going to draw another pizza. I'm going to cut it into four equal pieces because that's the denominator. So we start at the top, we halve it and we halve it again. That's how your teacher will have told you how to do a quarter. So you have four equal pieces. One, two, three, four. And we want to shade in three because the numerator is three. The top number is three. So let's go ahead and do that. One, two, and three. So I've got now, let me shade this in. One whole pizza and three quarters of a pizza. So I have one and three quarters of a pizza. I just want to take this one step further. So pay attention to this. I'm now going to cut this whole pizza into four equal pieces. So there's the center. I'm going to halve it and halve it again. The reason I want to do that is because I want all the pieces on both the pizzas to be the same size. Now I can count one, two, three, four pieces, five, six, seven pieces. And each piece is a quarter and I have seven quarters. Now that's all we want to do for this lesson. Let's try another one. Two and one third. So this is a mixed number because I have a whole part and a fraction part. So let's draw the whole part first. We have two whole pieces. One, there's the center. Two, there's the center. So I've drawn them two. So let me shade those in to start off with. Now I'm going to draw the third. So I draw a whole pizza. There's a center. So remember what we said about drawing a third. It's like a Mercedes sign. So let's draw a line straight down to the center. And now I'm going to aim for this point here and this point here because I want three equal pieces. So there's my first line and there's my second line. So I have one, two, three equal pieces. And I only want one piece because the numerator is one. The top number is one. So let me shade that in. There we go. So I have two and one third of a pizza. Now, as before, I want to know how many thirds I've got. So I'm going to cut each of these whole pieces into thirds. Again, there's a the center. So draw a line straight down. I'm going to aim for this point and this point because I want three equal pieces. And there's my third. Same thing here, down. And as you practice, you'll be able to just do it straight away. So now I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven pieces. And each piece is a third. So I can say two and one third of a pizza is equal to or equivalent to seven thirds. For now, in this lesson, we'll leave it like this. So we're counting the number of pieces 
which is seven, and each piece is a third. So we have seven thirds. So let's try one more. I have two and one quarter. So I'm going to draw two whole pieces because the whole part is two. One, two. Now I've drawn the centers to make it easy. So I've done the whole part. And now I'm going to do the fraction part, which is one quarter. So I do a whole pizza and I draw the center. Now I'm going to cut that pizza into four equal pieces because I have a four as the bottom number or four as the denominator. So you have it and you have it again. So I have now one, two, three, four pieces. And I want to eat or I want to shade in one piece. So let me pick this piece and shade this. And these two pieces I'm going to shade as well. Now as before I'm going to cut each of these whole pieces into four equal pieces. So I'm going to cut them into quarters. I'm going to halve it and halve it again. I'm going to halve it and halve it again. So now I have four equal pieces on each of these two pieces. So I want to count out how many pieces I've got. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. So I can say two and one quarter is equal to or equivalent to nine quarters. Now I want you to try these two. One and two fifths and two and one sixth. See if you can do those. Okay, so we have one whole pizza. And we have two fifths here. So I'm going to draw another pizza and I'm going to cut that into fifths. So remember what we said, it's a star jump. So that's your head and we draw our two arms up here. And when we jump up for a star jump, our legs come up about here. So we join them up. And we've got one, two, three, four, five equal pieces. So I need to shade in two fifths. So two of these, one and two. And I need to shade all of this pizza in. Now I need to cut this into five equal pieces. And remember we said a fifth is like a star jump. So there's your head. There's your arms and there's your legs. So now I want to count out how many fifths I've got. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I can say one and two fifths is equal to or equivalent to seven fifths. And I want you to leave it like that for now. And now here we have two and one sixth. So I'm going to draw two whole pizzas. One, two, and then I'm going to draw the sixth, the fraction part. So I need a whole pizza and I need to cut this into six equal pieces. So we said we draw thirds first, so we do a Mercedes sign. And then we cut each of these pieces into two equal pieces. So if I just continue that line down, if I continue that line up, 
and if I continue that line across there now I've got six equal pieces here and I need to shade in one piece one sixth so I'm going to shade these in as well so now I have two and one sixth of a pizza like before I need to cut each of these pizzas into a sixth so I'm going to do the Mercedes sign I like to do the Mercedes sign because it makes it much easier for me now I'm going to draw this line straight down I'm going to take this line and continue it across there and this one across there so now I have one two three four five six equal pieces the same thing here Mercedes sign first and I'm going to continue this line down this line across and this line there so now if I count these I've got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve and thirteen equal pieces so I can say two and one sixth is equal to or equivalent to thirteen sixths and again we're going to leave it like that because in the future we can do a shortcut we don't need to draw these out but for the time being practice drawing out your fractions 